Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. European Open's behind us. We got to witness the thrill of victory, the agony of defeat, and all of the emotions in between from Ricky Wysocki. Ricky Wysocki's major drought lives on. Gannon Burr is solidifying himself as the best player in the world. With a chasing Paul, a chasing Ricky, Gannon was able to handle the pressure and deliver on hole 18 when it mattered the most. We'll take a look at that shot in just a second. But first, I want to talk about Ricky's major drought. Let's look at the last few years of majors. Obviously, this year, we have a few more majors left. We've got the World Championships. We've got the United States Disc Golf Championships. These are historically events that are hit or miss for Ricky. Worlds depends on what course it's on. If it's a course that Ricky's comfortable with, obviously, obviously he's one of the favorites to win. But he hasn't won in so long. It's hard for me to say that Ricky's a favorite to win at this year's Worlds. But I hope he proves me wrong. I would love to see Ricky win another major championship. It kind of felt like this was Ricky's tournament to win the European Open, especially after winning at the Crocal Open the week prior. But it is what it is. Ricky Isaki was not able, able to deliver down the stretch. Let's look at the last few seasons of Ricky's major performances. We've got the European Open. Ricky took 6th last year. He took 12th at Worlds. Again, really good finishes for the average player, but for Ricky Wysocki... This is not enough. This is not what Ricky's looking for. And Ricky's looking to add more majors to his resume. He's looking to end this major drought. And in 2022, a very similar story. Uh, Ricky takes second at the Champions Cup. He takes 12th at the European Open. He takes seventh at USDGC. Again, good for your average player, but not good enough for Ricky Wysocki. And even the second place finish at Champions Cup, that's not what Ricky's looking for. Ricky's looking to win. He has the reputation of being one of the top killers on tour. This is a guy that's supposed to come out and win. And when he doesn't win, and he, every time he doesn't win a major, and every year that passes by that he doesn't win a major, the drought is just getting longer and longer. And the longer that drought goes, I feel like the less likely Ricky is to win a major in the future. And just really felt like this year's European Open could have been the one. So we got to see Ricky... With this face, this is <laughs> this is happy Ricky. He won with his team, Team USA. They absolutely dominated Team Europe for the 12th year in a row. But then when it came to the major, we're looking down the stretch here. We have Ricky Wysocki on hole 18 with an opportunity to put the pedal to the metal, put all of the pressure on Gannon Burr. Let's take a look at what he does. He's stuck in this bush here. This shot is very ironic to me because Ricky Wysocki throws a very nice-looking hyzer, and he hits the Disc Mania banner. His disc likely would have just trickled right in bounds right through here on the bottom of the screen. But unfortunately, that left Gannon with a wide-open hyzer shot. We know Gannon's not messing up this shot. He's just taking a very overstable disc, throwing it up in the air on hyzer, letting it trickle down towards the basket, and boom, just like that, in one fell swoop, Gannon Burr is now the champion of the European Open. And we do have some additional footage on the Discmania Instagram page. So this is Gannon and Ricky hanging out by the basket. We got to see Ricky at his happiest. Now we get to see Ricky at, you know, the most upset. And although that really stinks for Ricky, this is why we love sports. We love the emotions. We love the unpredictability. And that's what keeps us watching week over week. And the European Open with the massive crowd the massive pedigree, the same course year in and year out, the history with the event. It just brings the highest level of emotions out of the player. We have Ricky Wysocki. He's clearly upset. He's He just threw it out of bounds. He hit the Discmania banner, so I'm sure there's mixed feelings about that. Should there even be banners like that out on the course? Obviously, Gannon being sponsored by Discmania, it's kind of ironic that Ricky's disc would hit a Discmania banner and allow a Discmania player to win the European Open. There's definitely... I don't know. That might be something worth talking about. It might not. The, some people say the banners are part of the course. Some people say the banner shouldn't be there at all. We've seen Ricky hit umbrellas. We've seen him hit spectators. Now we're seeing him hit a banner. I'm curious what you guys think about that. And you can let me know what you think in the comment section down below. But Gannon Burr is going to be celebrated this year. He's going to be celebrated next year. All the way until the European Open next year. Gannon Burr is the reigning champion of the European Open. And yeah, we really got to keep an eye on this guy because he could come out and win Worlds. He could come out and win the USDGC. Gannon's already won the USDGC before. 
So we know Gannon, when it, when it matters the most, he's able to come out and deliver. But again, I love sports for this reason. We saw a very mixed amount of emotions, especially from Ricky. I'm really curious to see how he bounces back from this. Was this Ricky's last chance to win a major? Is he going to have a chance at Worlds, USDGC? Let me know in the comment section down below. You guys are watching Iceberg TV, and take care.